but uh, a lot of people are very strong this way. And if you travel the states and whatnot, you'll find people are just incredibly brand loyal, I think, in, in pickup trucks, and, and certainly to a large degree here as well. Are basically, most of our, our guys here are driving Ford products, or pickups anyways, Ford pickups, and uh, well, they, they pretty much give me the butt of the joke all the time for driving the one Chev 4x4. Well, huge market potential. In Canada, the full-size truck market is about 200,000 units. Uh, we're not bold enough to think that uh, customers that are currently driving the big three are going to come rushing into our showrooms and buy a new Tundra. We're going to have to do that over time. But that uh, said, there's a customer base out there right now of our own and some of the other import companies that are looking to move up to a full-size truck and have the confidence in our type of vehicle. So we see those as our initial buyers. But over time, I think people will, from the big three will come back to us and have a look at Tundra as well. So it'll be a case of we've got to earn some respect, but that will be done. They're great when they're new. Everything is always nice when it's new, but put 150, 200,000 miles on it, and then the little stuff starts to get to you. The, the brakes and that, that's normal. But water pumps, rear ends, stuff like that. Um, rear ends, what does a rear end cost for a, for a Japanese vehicle? A transmission, a gas tank. Buddy of mine in the auto wrecking business, a gas tank for a Mazda pickup is $750. Well, I think that is a myth. I mean, when it comes to parts and service, uh, we're very competitive, and we have to be. If we're not competitive in the marketplace, then somebody else is going to eat our lunch. There are people out there that supply uh, jar parts in the marketplace. We have to compete against those. I think we're very competitive with the parts pricing right now.